Hey everybody, it's Trisha. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Sorry about the lighting. It's really gloomy today, cloudy. It's a little cool, but not too cold. It's uh, kind of a good temperature. It was supposed to rain today, but it hasn't. Today I'm gonna make, I'm excited because um, my husband works away, as most of you know, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. But I'm gonna make a Cajun recipe today, Cajun shrimp bread. A few years ago, I made a Cajun crawfish bread. I got this recipe out of a, uh, it was, it's a Louisiana restaurant book and it's got like different kind of recipes from different restaurants and pictures and anyway, this, uh, that bread was really good and I think that I prefer shrimp over crawfish. So I'm excited, it's got some cheese in it. But anyway, uh, it's an easy recipe and it should go quickly. So I hope you enjoy the recipe and the video. So let's get cooking. Okay, the first thing you do is you can buy a loaf of uh, French bread and you put you spread a, a layer of mayo on it. And it depends on your preference. You can, it says a fourth of a cup. Now I might do something with this thick half um, and I might just use this for the shrimp. And I haven't decided yet. Uh, but anyway, this is a softer French bread. You can get whatever kind you prefer. You could get a baguette, you could get... Anyway, this is the first step and you could bake your own bread if you want to too. But the next thing we're gonna do is move to the stove and saute some ingredients. Okay, just have a skillet here with two tablespoons of butter and I put a little olive oil in here. Now, I'm not gonna, I didn't, I didn't measure the onions. This is a, uh, an onion and uh, jalapeno chopped up. And you can use a, a sweet onion. You can use whatever kind of onion you like and you can use as much as you want. Uh, I'm just gonna add, well, I like onions, so, like I'm having the recipe, so, oh, I've got a lot of peppers in there. And you can cook them as much as you want. And then we're gonna add, well, I'm gonna cook these a little bit first, then I'm gonna add fresh garlic. And you want three cloves. This is the way I do my garlic all the time. And I, we like a lot of garlic, so. I'm just gonna put just a pinch of salt in my mixture here. I'm gonna saute this a little bit. Oh, you wanna preheat your oven to 375 or 350 convection. This will not take too long. So I'll be back when I add the garlic. And we're gonna add some garlic and we like a lot of garlic. Garlic goes really well with butter and shrimp. I'm at about that much. Stir this around a little bit. We're gonna add some green onions. You, I don't know, you might wanna choose a nonstick skillet. I like this the best. And now I'm gonna add, this is about one pound of shrimp. These are freeze dried shrimp and they're very delicious. I'm gonna put these in. And I'm gonna add Cajun seasoning. I'm going, it says a teaspoon. I'm just gonna, it might stick a little bit to this pan. You can eat this just by itself. I'm just gonna sprinkle some. Because remember the bread's not really seasoned, but the, this is my favorite seasoning. It's not as salty. You could use Tony Sachery's or Stuff Your Mama or your favorite season seasoning. I wanted the I wanted the bread to have a, a lot of shrimp on it, so I have the the other recipe, the other ingredients, and I kept the shrimp the same flavor. Amount, I mean, it's not flavored. I can turn my fire down a little bit. I've been craving shrimp. They are one of my favorite things to eat. I'm gonna spread them out to the Okay. And then after this, now you, you're gonna add about four ounces 
of cream cheese. If you're using both bread halves, you're gonna use eight ounces of cream cheese. This is some cream cheese I need to use. It's garlic and herb. So I'm just gonna use this. You can also use, probably use a little heavy cream. I'm funny about my shrimp. I like them cooked pretty well done. I'm gonna add just a touch more olive oil, not much. Turn my flour back up. And it's gonna cook a little bit in the oven as well. I cut these in half so it'd be easier to eat. I forgot to mention that. You could probably even use chicken actually for this recipe if you wanted to. Okay, I'm going to turn my fire off and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take it off the heat a little bit. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna add, my husband is not a big cream cheese lover we're gonna be adding other cheese. I'm just gonna put as about as much as I think. Just as long as it's creamy. And if this was cold, you might wanna let it get out to room temperature. Set it out to room temperature. I was gonna use regular cream cheese, I had it out. And then I, I forgot about this garlic and herb cream cheese that I had. You want it to be spreadable, so you want it to be pretty creamy. And you can do half cream cheese, half heavy cream. That looks pretty good to me. Okay. So let me clean my mess up and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, I tasted this and it's uh, seasoned just right. Because you want to remember, you're going to put Parmesan cheese and that's got salt in it. And I decided I'm gonna do something else with the other half. So this is gonna be full of shrimp. I'm, I'm gonna use a little dried parsley. So I'm just gonna... This would be good with pasta. It's delicious, just like it is. Start the video over and tell you to put pasta. It would be good with pasta and more cheese. That garlic and herb cream cheese is really flavorful. See, this is gonna have a lot of shrimp on it, so. But I want this to be more like a little appetizer. And it's a, so easy. Cause you don't have to put the chopped jalapenos, you don't have to put Um, and you can put whatever cheeses you like, really. The recipe calls for Parmesan and Monterey Jack. I'm gonna spread this out. Okay, let me move this over. Now, I have a little pepper jack. It calls for Monterey Jack. I didn't wanna put too much Cajun seasoning because it's a little spicy. I'm gonna put a, just a little bit of pepper jack. So you don't have to really measure for this recipe. You just put, you get mozzarella on here. Hey, a lot of even put Velveeta on here, if, if, if my family would let me. <laughs> don't need a lot of Velveeta because it's so salty. So we're gonna put, you wanna make sure you cover each end, if you're like me, like it to the edges. And I'm gonna add a little, form. this is a uh, fresh Parmesan that I grated yesterday and I did it on the, what do you call that? The smaller part of the grater. Parmesan has such a good flavor. And I'll tell you, I don't buy a lot of pre-shredded cheeses but Ella was eating this salad and she used this cheese and I find it's a mixture of, of Italian cheeses and it's really, really delicious. 
and it's a lot cheaper than buying all the different cheeses yourself because they're kind of it's got asiago and parmesan and mozzarella there's five cheeses in here some of it's falling but that's okay now since to bake this for 15 minutes my convection oven is going to bake it a little bit faster also i wanted to say if you had a soft loaf like i do you could pre-bake it if you want it to be uh really really toasted I, I don't mind mine a little soft but i did want the smaller part of the bread so i'm gonna put this in the oven and i'll keep a close eye on it i'm also gonna put a little bit more parsley on top of it i'll wait till it comes out okay so this is what it looks like now and then you could put a lot more cheese but uh see it's still soft but a little toasted so it's done enough for it's just a matter of preference i baked it about eight minutes now what you're gonna do is turn off the oven and you're gonna put it on, on broil. And my, I'm gonna, it says six inches, but just use your own judgment. Make sure when you put it under the broil that you watch it very closely, but it'll brown the cheese a little bit. You could add more cheese if you want to. So I'm gonna put it under the broil. Hopefully I won't burn it. And then it'll be ready. I put it on this platter. It kind of it got so hot it started melting off because my bread I cut it a little lopsided. But once it's under the broiler, it does not take long. You can get it as brown as you want, but it's it's gonna it's it's rich, but it's gonna be so good. And I probably should have cut it in pieces, but I wanted to use my rectangular tray. So I'm gonna let it cool off a little while, and uh, then we'll do a taste test. Okay, here it is. Doesn't take long to make. Mm. So good. It's, a, it's not too spicy. It's not too salty. And I would recommend cutting the shrimp up like this. It's so good. But it's so creamy. And the, it's not too cheesy. It's just enough. Like I said, this will be good really on pasta. But this is such an easy recipe. I, I, I wanted to share it. Hope you enjoy it. I needed an occasion recipe. And I need to eat one too. So thank you so much for watching. Please try it. Let me know if you like it. Like You could probably do this with chicken too. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't. And hopefully I'll be back really soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.